In 1927, Professor Thomas Parnell at the University of Queensland began what would become the world's longest running laboratory experiment, setting out to demonstrate that some seemingly solid materials are actually highly viscous fluids. The experiment involves pitch, a derivative of coal tar that appears solid at room temperature, but is actually an extremely viscous fluid that flows very slowly over time. Parnell heated the pitch, poured it into a sealed glass funnel, and allowed it to cool for three years before cutting the stem of the funnel in 1930, when the first drop began to form. It took eight years for the first drop to fall in December 1938, and since then only nine drops have fallen, with drops taking between seven and 12 years to form and fall. The experiment demonstrates that pitch, despite appearing solid enough to shatter when struck with a hammer, actually has a viscosity approximately 230 billion times that of water. For decades, no one had ever witnessed a drop actually falling, despite constant monitoring and later the addition of webcams to capture the rare event. In a heartbreaking twist, in 2000, after 72 years of waiting, the eighth drop fell during a camera malfunction over a weekend when no one was present to witness it. In 2013, the ninth drop finally fell and was successfully captured on camera, marking the first time in the experiment's 86-year history that a drop fall was actually recorded. Today, the experiment continues at the University of Queensland, where it has earned a Guinness World Record as the world's longest-running laboratory experiment and is expected to continue for at least another 100 years. With each drop taking approximately a decade to fall and enough pitch remaining in the funnel for at least another century of drops, this remarkably simple experiment continues to demonstrate the extraordinary patience required in the pursuit of scientific knowledge.